What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so, again, I would like to apologize to you guys about the last episode being cut off. But here we are in Fuchsia City, and, uh, well, we're just about finding out the, about the whole, uh, the whole Safari Zone. How it got closed down, and now it's turned into a PAL Park. And, believe it or not, guys, we have an episode for the PAL Park. It's gonna be very interesting. And no, it is not good. This this episode is not going to be about oh, it's just Fuchsia City. Here it is, a small tour and all that stuff. No, we are actually going to be going into a Pokemon gym battle, and uh, well, this guy right here will actually give us berries for some shards right there. And we just talked to another individual right here where he actually explained to us that the actual or the current gym leader is the daughter of the former gym leader. And here is the Paul the Pal part in which you can actually capture Pokemon. Uh, from uh, previous versions like, you know, Ruby Sapphire, Heart Gold, uh, Soul Silver, and all that stuff. As you can see, I'm reading the whole thing. Um, what goes into the Pal Park is you can select six Pokemon from those uh, games that I just explained, and you can actually capture them right here. And it's going to be of no issue whatsoever because, well, the Pal Park balls are basically Master Balls. So. Yeah, you can migrate them here to the DS, and then from there, just keep on playing. And I just, you know, I just saw from uh, the, the, the video files that I have here, yes, we will be doing an episode of the Pal Park right here. And I did select uh, a nice group of Pokemon that we will be using for the final battle against Red and nothing else. I know, I know, Draven's cheating and all that stuff. No, I'm not. This is an in-game stuff right here. So, let's go ahead and uh, go in here, and I think this is, uh, yeah, Bill's uh, grandmother, I think? Or mother? I don't know. Or wife? I don't even know, but Bill's parents or family used to live, or lived right there. So, <sighs> we came here, or let's go to what we came here to see, and that is a Pokemon Gym Battle. Yes. So... In the previous uh, three, three to four episodes, we have won three badges here in Kanto. We started off with defeating Lieutenant Surge. Then we defeated um, Sabrina, our girlfriend. Yeah, she's kind of spooky. I kind of like them spooky and all that stuff. And then we defeated Erica for our third badge right here. Now, if you can see right here, there's invisible walls and there are Pokemon trainers dressed up as the new gym leader of the Fusion City Gym, Janine. And, well, it's like it's like the, the gym suggests. It is a poison-type gym. And you will actually be seeing some po like some poison-type Pokemon here, finally. Not like in previous versions where, you know, quote-unquote poison-type Pokemon were Pokemon that knew poison-type moves like poison gas. You know, you know what I'm saying. And, well, just like that, we defeated Nido Queen. And Relic, you know, getting some experience point and all that stuff. Yeah. Okay, we have won another battle right here. Okay. And, well, let me switch it out right here because you can't see me. <laughs> you really can't see me. And this is another glitch into this game right here where, you know... Yeah, another glitch to this game right here where you can't... If you play this game for too long, it's going to mess up. And there we go. We switched it out, guys. So, yeah, that's another thing that you guys have to keep an eye out for. If you're playing Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, if you're playing this game a little too long, in the regular computer, I believe, yeah, you will be getting the that kind of disappearing act uh, kind of glitch right there. So here we go, taking on another trainer, and this is Camper Berry coming out with Nido King. Okay, so let's see. Nido King is a pretty awesome Pokemon. It is. It's a very awesome Pokemon. This is why I would always have him on my team somehow because. It, it kind of is like the jack of all trades. You learn any kind of move, plus it has a ground type capability. And, well, if you know how to use it, you know how to use it. But, unfortunately, this person did not know how to use it properly. So, yeah, that's kind of what we did right there. So, yes, he's a, he's a boy. And, yeah, we're still trying to look for Janine. And, nope, that's not Janine. Okay, so we got two more trainers to go, plus this one. So, here we go, taking on Gloom. And we're going to be coming out with Relic, because it's the Relic show featuring Relic and all that stuff. You gotta love uh, the post-com, guys. Really, really gotta love the post-com, because... 
Well, uh, that's how I started my YouTube channel on Postcom because I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't exactly know how to. Use it. Well, first of all, I didn't have, the, I didn't have the 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 equipment for the whole live com and all that stuff. I really didn't. I, I, like, if you've been on YouTube for a long time and if you are a commentator or if you are you, like you know YouTuber commentator whatever guys, you remember the first time you tried YouTube and how it all came to be. And of course, there's no record of that. Here on my channel anymore because what well, I've decided to delete all those videos. Why? Because well, that's the past. This is the future, and I believe right here, you know, in putting up the, the videos that I'm putting, it, it, it just shows the growth that I have right here. But when I started YouTube, I didn't have all this equipment that I have now, um, and I didn't have the knowledge that I have now. And it, it, just, it just took growth. It was growth, guys. It really was growth, and. You know, I'm actually glad that, you know, now we can actually do post-con, live con, whatever we want to. Hell, we even play games that I thought we couldn't showcase right here onto my channel. You know, like Pokemon Moon. You guys love that, right? Pretty sure about that. So, there you go. We have defeated Vileplume, and Nessie's getting some points. Cinder, as well, and, well, Alice in Chains has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay, so, let's see. Fun to dress up as Janine, her idol. And, well, let's see, there's still more right there. And I'm trying to battle that trainer, but you know what? Screw it. Let's go right here. And, yes, this is Janine, the Fuchsia City Gym Leader. She's not much for words, but, bam, we are going to be taking on Janine. And, well, if you guys are wondering where Togo is at, well, we kind of did face him in the Pokemon Elite 4. Kind of did that. So he's moving on while Janine took over, and, well, she... She's pretty much following the same uh, mantra as her dad. Poison type Pokemon, a lot of strategy, a lot of venom, and yeah, just a lot of confusion between the R family of ninjas and well, oh my god, nearly defeated this guy. Okay, so let's go again, and well, Janine as crappy as her dad, she wants to use a full restore. So you, you really you really can't blame her for that. So here we go. Psybeam for the win. Like, oh wow, come on. Okay, you better faint, boo, because of this confusion. Alright, I'll take that. Come on, faint, faint, faint. Ah, uh, crap, baskets. So it's basically her telling us to the play at this game, right? Yes. Uh, okay. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and uh, use a side beam attack. And there we go. Crobat has been defeated. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And, well, she's going to be coming out with an Ariados, so let's go right ahead and go straight to... Well, let's go to Toxic Batman. Let's show, how, how, let's show her how to use a Crobat properly. So here we go. Ariados looking all mean and everything, but here we have a Fly Attack. Shoot, I don't remember when, uh, when Fly Attack was a very powerful move at one point. And then Generation... Shoot, we're going to be going into... Uh, Generation 9, I think. Holy crap. We have progressed. And, well, look at that. One fly, one win. Say goodbye to Ariados. And, well, let's see. Coming out with a Venomoth. Trademark Venomoth. Let's go straight to Cinderella. So this is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can use it. We can use some dig. It's a pretty awesome Pokemon right here. With, uh, or we can use some fly Pokemon. Or some fire type Pokemon. Just to beat, uh, just to beat Ariana Grande right here. Here we go, eruption. And this eruption really hits him hard. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Say goodbye to Venomoth. Okay, alrighty. So Venomoth has been defeated. And, well, let's see. We still got another Pokemon right here. And that is Weezing, an actual poison type Pokemon. You know, something that. What's his face? Um, uh, you know, Koga should have used back in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. So here comes a, a Weezing. And, well, let's go right ahead and use a Psybeam attack. Should probably teach Relic some Psychic attack while I'm at it, because, well, yeah, we kind of need a. Yeah, we kind of need a stronger Psychic type attack. Right there. So, there you go. Weezing has been defeated. And Relic getting some points, as well as Nessie. And here comes another Ariados. And, well, you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and switch out. Actually, no. Never mind. Wait, why didn't I switch out right here? 
You know, I probably pushed the button, uh, the B button by accident. Yeah, I did. Uh, if you guys don't remember, in the last few episodes I, I mentioned this, uh, the date I recorded these episodes was back in September of 2021. So again, I'm going with the flow, exactly what, what, what's given to me right here. And, uh, you know, it's simple things like this, a little glitch area that, you know, those, those, those are the things that I kind of just like, you know, uh, what's it called? I, I forget sometimes. Probably should have edited the whole glitch area, but, you know, it is what it is, guys. And yes, I am strong. Everything about me is strong. That's why I defeated you and your daddy. Yes, I defeated your daddy, my father, a member of the elite. And yes, well, we're going to be getting a soul badge. And look at that, guys. That is 12 badges in all. And yes, uh, we're going to get a special gift right here. And it is called Poison Jab. This is pretty awesome. Some pretty awesome moves. And yeah, she's going to apply herself just so, so she can beat her dad and me. It's pretty cool. Anywho, guys. Uh, so, the Pal Park. Yeah, that is going to be the next episode. And you guys are going to be surprised. Well, not really going to be surprised at what Pokemon I choose to actually move over here into the uh, Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver game. So, there it is, guys. 12 badges in all. We still got four more to go. Again, two years ago, we started this game. That is unbelievable. Anywho, guys, thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode as we go into the Pal Park. See you guys.